Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some NBA with thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, uh, a photo was posted on Instagram, as you guys can see in the thumbnail. Um, there were five NBA players working out. Five NBA players were Jordan McRae. You guys might remember Jordan McRae. If you watched Summer League, he was one of the standout players for the Cavaliers. Jordan McRae, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Richard Jefferson. Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and Ben Simmons. Now, um, I don't believe that there was any footage leaked from their workouts, but it was an interesting sight to see. Ben Simmons, I mean, I didn't know Ben Simmons was actually taller than LeBron James. He's actually slightly taller than LeBron, and you, you can kind of you can see it in the picture. Uh, but speaking from the Ben Simmons point uh, side of things, you know, Ben Simmons is a guy who's coming into the league. He's got you know a lot of pressure on him to 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 really live up to the hype and he's someone that uh i know on showtime i believe it was showtime they're doing a documentary on him about i think it's called one and done so he's getting a lot of hype coming into the league i have the slam magazine where they have him posing like the same way lebron james did when lebron james first came into the league with the, with the all-star jersey on and the basketball and leaning up against the wall it's same same pose so um he's drawing a lot of comparisons to lebron he's drawing a lot of comparisons to magic and uh, when you watch them in Summer League, you know, you saw some of the things that, that, some of the reasons why people said that, but then you watched them and you watched them and there were just certain things that I saw my, to myself that, you know, he left a lot of things to be desired. Um, and obviously in Summer League, how, how seriously can you really take Summer League? It's very sloppy basketball, but there's still some, some, some universal things that happen within the game that apply to Summer League, preseason, regular season playoffs, you know. Um, for example, Ben Simmons, you know, the teams were sagging 15 feet off of him to shoot jumpers, and um, his refusal to shoot the jumpers, not not the fact that he was taking jumpers and he was missing them, but his refusal to even shoot the shot, you know, that's the one thing that left the sour taste in my mouth. Um, there were a couple times where he got caught up picking rolls, and um, he got beat off the dribble, so that definitely needs work. But to be in a workout, I mean, I don't know how long the workout was, I don't know what the context of it was, but... Just to be in a workout with LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Richard Jefferson, um, you know, just those three guys alone, three guys who have so much experience playing in the playoffs, the NBA Finals, um, have been to countless All-Star games. Uh, it's a lot of basketball and to go around there, and for Ben Simmons to be spending his time with those guys, um, you know, that's, that's big for him. That's huge for him. Um, and I'm sure LeBron, especially LeBron, because LeBron had some of the same struggles. Some of the same struggles that I saw in the summer league of Ben Simmons are some of the same struggles LeBron had his first four or five seasons in the league. You know, teams would, he was so good and so unstoppable at getting to the rim that teams would sag 10 to 15 feet off of him. And, you know, while he was more aggressive than Ben Simmons to take those jumpers, he was still not a great shooter coming into the league. Ben Simmons, I would even go as far as to say he is a worse shooter than LeBron when LeBron came into the league. Um, so we've got a lot of work to do, and it's going to take time. Shooting is one of those things that when it comes to younger players, so especially guys with with Ben Simmons when you know, coming to the league after one year of college, you know, you know, it takes a little longer. It might take him two to three to maybe four years till he's really a, a good shooter. Um, as far as, you know, we're talking about 10 feet and beyond, you know. Can he be a capable, can he be a capable productive score from out there and that takes time for, for, for a guy like Ben Simmons um, where he's going to be a great player is his obviously facilitating and I think using that length quickness um, to be a, de a versatile defender um, and who, who better to learn from than, than LeBron and Dwayne Wade two, two guys who have been you know some of the most versatile defenders in the league for years um, whether that's switching up pick and rolls or you know just just being guys that can be leaders for a team, and he's gonna be counted on uh, from day one to be a, 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 a focal point and um, you know a difference maker for this for a Sixers franchise that is in desperate need of a difference maker. And he'll have his buddy Joel Embiid there, who was finally he'll find, who will finally be healthy to play with them. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see. But I just wanted to kind of touch on that because I saw it on Instagram, and you know I think it's good stuff for Ben Simmons. So a shout out to Ben Simmons and uh, for working out with those guys and. Uh, hopefully, he picks up some good basketball knowledge, and we'll, we'll see what, what comes of that uh, this season. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me, or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So, until next time, take care, guys.